What's up, y'all? So this is a quick walk around of my F-150. It's my 2013 F-150 FX4. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know shit about this thing, man. So we're going to be learning together. But one thing I can say is that I have always wanted to completely mod out a truck. I had a Chevy Silverado, the Trail Boss. It was a 2021. I had no complaints about that truck whatsoever, except for the fact that it was not paid for. So let me tell you something. When you are trying to mod out and customize a truck that you are still making $1,000 a month payments on, it's no fun. Because you got to be, be financially responsible. This right here, on the other hand, is a salvage F-150 with 190,000 miles on it. I bullshit you not. And I am absolutely going to love running it up on this vehicle. Um, I bought it from a nice guy up in Salisbury here in North Carolina. He actually works for Roush Racing. And he gave me a great deal on it. And I'm absolutely going to enjoy what happens next. So just giving you guys a run around. Um, I wish the light down here in the garage was better. I may refilm this just so you guys can like really get a look at how clean the interior on this thing is. I mean, what happened was it had some front end damage back, um, I wanna say back in 2017, which actually ended up causing it to be totaled out. But from what I saw from the body damage, it didn't seem like it should have been totaled out, but it was. I mean, as you can see, you can see some of the body work that got done here. But I mean, for the most part, she's not, she's not worse for wear. I should just realize these are aftermarket fenders. I'm gonna get those painted. Anyways. So the guy who had it put these Raptor wheels on it. I'm gonna keep him for now. And he's got 35s on here right now. The goal eventually, I think I wanna get up to 37s, but we'll see. It's a nice trail bus up the way. Uh, we'll see at what point we get to where I feel like, all right, I've just put too much damn money into this thing. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just have to see. I gotta I got be responsible. I can't just be out here just going as ham as I wanna go. But some things that I already got coming in. I have got a AFE uh, dual intake, so it'll have the double cones down here. That's gonna be coming in. I got the engine shroud coming in. I know it's not needed, but I'm an aesthetic person, so I got the engine shroud coming in. Um, the guy who had it before me already put this big ass intercooler on here. <laughs> um, I don't think that he did the blow off. So I am gonna order the blow off. I'm also gonna order the, um, the oil catch. I'll probably order those next week. I gotta get another battery for this thing because this one has a leak in it. I already actually have a tune from Five Star Tuning that he gave to me, um, which I will end up doing later because I'm running 93 in it. Some future upgrades I'm also going to do is I'm gonna get an upgraded horn because this one just, I mean, it doesn't sound like what you would expect a, a, a truck horn to sound like. So I am gonna get a new horn, but then I'm also going to add a train horn. That'll be coming later. Um, let me think, what are some other things that I'm gonna do to her? Oh, she's absolutely gonna get some bigger turbos eventually. And I am probably gonna go stage five. Headlights are gonna get changed out. Front bumper is absolutely going to get changed out. She is going to get a six and a half inch lift. Going to change these out to some different mirrors. And get the ones with the turn signals on them. Some upgraded seat mats coming in. 
Why am I saying seat mats? My bad. I got some floor mats coming in. That'll be upgraded. Again, not in bad condition, though. Um, seats probably going to have those reconditioned. Uh, I am going to... I am going to do some things up here, though. I'm actually going to change this over to a... Uh, Bluetooth charging system. I'm actually getting ready to order that today. And I'm going to change this over to the Navigator. I'm going to change this over to the Navigator uh, gear selector. And I'm going to make sure that this is blacked out. I'm going to change this trim. Um, either black it out or carbon fiber. What the hell is that? I'm going to get that out of there later on. I got some things going on with the blower motor down here. It's making a really funky rattling noise, but the heat and AC does still work. So no complaints about that for now. Uh, one mod that I did go do immediately, even though it does have the upgraded Sony system and it did actually come with the sink. And you know what, let's, let's talk about that for a second because again, I didn't know anything about these trucks, all right? My dad and mom have an F-150 that they've done absolutely nothing to. And I mean, it's pretty basic analog CD player, tape player. But I did not realize that I could have done a Sync 3 upgrade. Had I known that, I would have gone with a Sync 3 upgrade because I kind of don't like the fact that I have this screen that does not sit flush. I mean, the capabilities of this Pioneer system are great. And I'll show those later if I get comments asking about it. I'm not mad at it at all. I do sort of wish that it came with a remote control. I'm old school. I really haven't seen anything with a remote control in a long time, but I wish it had one because it's it's a long reach when you're sitting all the way back because I'm a little bit on the tall side. Um, so, yeah, it just kind of gets on my nerves. And I know y'all are probably wondering, what's that button right there? I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Um, I also think I am going to add push button start because I hate carrying keys. So we'll get into that later. But yeah, had I known I could have switched that to the Sync 3, I would have gone with the Sync 3. And I probably still would have upgraded the sound system because I went Pioneers all around. And then in the back... I did do a subwoofer, which you can see right here. Uh, I got Rockford subwoofer back here. And it's not putting out crazy bass because I didn't want them to. Um, you know, I had the choice, you know, he was like, hey, you trying to shake the neighborhood? And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm 39 years old. My neighborhood shaking days are done. I already can't hear half the damn time as it is. Um, of course, I've got mat coming for back here, the upgraded mat that's going to be coming for back here. But these seats are absolutely going to get uh, conditioned. Um, I love, I love, the, it almost feels like Alcantara, but I love the uh, the two-tone, the two-fabric tone seats. Like, these really feel good. Um, these are heated and vented, which I absolutely love. I hate the fact that there's not a manual button for it. I actually have to control it from the head unit. And... I literally changed out the head unit like two days after I got this truck, so I completely forgot how to turn on the heated and vented seats. And uh, yeah, I thought for a minute that I did not have them because I couldn't see a button for it, but yeah. So, bed of the truck. I've got this uh, folding tonneau cover. Absolutely gonna change this out to something that's probably more low profile, sits inside the bed of the truck easily collapsible because as you can see this thing is quite weathered but for now it still gets the job done and i would show y'all what i got in here i mean it's nothing to hide or anything like that but i've got my own i got my amg wheels sitting back here because one of the next things that we're getting ready to do is aesthetically i gotta make this i gotta make this truck me all right so and I'm shooting this all in one take, so forgive me for this long-ass video, but I just want to say everything that's on my mind while it's on my mind. So what will end up happening is I'm going to paint this whole truck. This whole thing is getting painted. 
and that's going to be happening sooner rather than later. Um, these bars are going to go. I'm going to put the AMP Research XLs on here. Um, that way they retract. But she's getting painted. And I'm going to tell you the reason why she's getting painted. I have always wanted to have my own fleet. All right. I grew up in the MTV Cribs era. I grew up watching Birdman and watching all them cats just had some of the dopest cars I've ever seen in my life. And I have always wanted to have a fleet of vehicles that match. And so what I'm going to be doing is I will be matching my vehicle to my Benz. So this color right here, is actually looking a little dull. I need to... Okay, so this was definitely repainted which is something that I did not realize because the clear coat on top of it. Anyways, um, yeah, the color on this is diamond white, all right? Color code is 799. So what I will be doing is I will be color matching my truck to my bins. So the next time you guys see this truck, it will be diamond white and it'll be matching the bins. And then of course, I'm gonna change out the bumper. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more of an aggressive hood on it. I'm thinking I may go ahead and get a Raptor hood. Definitely gonna get the um, upgraded bumpers, front and rear. Those will be color matched as well. As far as the trim goes, I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to do the pillars in piano gloss black, like what I have on my bins, or if I'm going to color match them and have them white as well. I'm still debating on that. Um, I'm going to just kind of make that decision when it comes down to it. So once my paint guy and I sync up and we know when we're dropping it off, I'll let him know what I want to do. But those are just the things I can think of off the top of my head. I was going to go with an FTS lift kit, but I don't think FTS, FTS makes a lift kit for this year truck. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Magos. Um, it's an aesthetics thing. And we'll do all the bells and whistles when it comes to the Magos as well. But for now, paint is going to be the first thing that I do. And I will be doing the intake at a later time. I mean, that should be in next week, so I may be doing the intake next week. We'll just kind of see what comes in and when. And yeah, that's all I can think of for now, man. So, I never really saw my channel being much of like a uh, truck channel or vehicle channel, period. I just kind of post whenever I feel like it. But I'm going to have some fun with this. Like, the whole interior of this thing I'm going to change, just make it a little bit more aesthetic. And that's for me. The outside, we're going to make more aesthetic. We're absolutely going to jack this thing up in the air. Like, it's going to be fun. Because, I mean, this right here, don't get me wrong, all right? We're, we're, we're talking about over 600 horsepower to the wheels. And I absolutely love this piece. But if you know anything about taking care of these, you know, the more miles you put on them, the more maintenance you got to put into them. So I'm enjoying keeping my miles on this low because I've only got like 60 something thousand miles on this. And this is a 2015 AMG S63. And yeah, we're, we're going to keep up clean. So in the meantime, we're going to push this, but we are absolutely going to drop a dime on it and we're going to get some money into it and get this fucker looking good. So that's the goal. And y'all just stay tuned, man. It's going to be a fun one.